at a time in the life of Jesus Christ, even before the disciples were matured, because he referred to them as babies in this time, he called them, he said, you have to go and preach. He would have thought that Christ would have waited for them to develop more spiritual muscle, more power, more authority before he sent them out. But the master said, no. Somebody said, the master said, no. The master said, no. Because he, he, he reasons differently. He thinks differently. He thinks differently. Then let's start from verse 1. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils to cure diseases and send them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Can we see it there? He sent them to do what? To go and preach and to go and heal. So our job today is very clear. We are going to preach and we are also going to heal. Amen. Amen. So when you don't know what to say, you can say, look, I'm a preacher of the gospel. Because, you know, sometimes you find it difficult to open up a conversation. I'm a preacher of the gospel. I'm here to pray for you. Is there anything you want me to pray for? And God will answer right now. Somebody say, right now. We must add that to it. Because it's very important that any time Jesus sent us to go and preach, his power is already there. And he wants us to make use of it right now. Somebody say right now. The Bible says he gave them power and authority. Somebody say I have power. Somebody say I have authority. He said over all devils. Somebody say over all devils. And to cure diseases. Somebody say cure diseases. You see? So when you go and they say there is something wrong, you lay hands on them and you tell them to be healed. Somebody say, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then look at verse 2. He said, and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. The question is, what's the kingdom of God? We must tell them that the end of all things is at hand. Somebody say, we are almost going to the end. And they know it themselves. Science call it global warming. Science call it that Things are out of place. Weather is not good. That's what it means. They already know. Even in the world, they know. They tell you the ozone layer is going. That one ice is melting somewhere. They are expecting the world to be destroyed by flood. So many cities are sinking, like Jakarta, and some of the ones in the highlands. But we already know that God is not going to destroy the world with water again. We have rainbow. We have his word for it. It is fire. Somebody say fire. It's not water again. That's why you see the anytime you see the rainbow after rain, it's telling you it's not water. But the world is expecting flood. So we must teach them the kingdom of God. That's what we tell them that the world is almost at hand and they are aware already. But we now tell them that now that you are aware, what do you need to do? You need to get ready. Because the world is itself about being rolled away as a scroll. Look at verse 3. And he said to them, take nothing for your journey. Neither staffs nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither those that have two coats and whatever. So he said, them, Don't be distracted. Somebody said, No distraction. As we go out, no distraction. Our eyes on the task. You are thinking, What am I going to say to this next one? And you are praying, Say, God, lead me to the next one. Lead me to the right one. And he says, Anywhere you see, he told us what to say. Look at verse 4. And whatsoever house you enter into, there abide and thence depart not. And whatsoever, whosoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake up the very doors from your feet as a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Somebody say healing everywhere. Today, there shall be healing everywhere. I said, there shall be healing everywhere. There shall be healing everywhere. He sent them out. And they were preaching. And they were healing everywhere. Healing everywhere. Declaring the word of God. 
sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ so that these people can be saved. I'm praying today, as we go out, the power of God, the anointing of God, we go out with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God himself will honor our word. Amen? Our word will not fall to the ground today. Amen? As we say it, God will be backing it up. Amen? The book of Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16 from verse 15. Look at the instruction. He said, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to where every creature. Somebody say everybody is covered. Today we have jurisdiction. Somebody say jurisdiction. It means you have power. There is nobody that is out of bound. You can talk to anyone today. Amen. He said, go and preach the gospel to every creature. Somebody say every creature. The rich, part of every creature. The poor, part of every creature. The homeless, part of every creature. The one that has a house, part of every creature. Everyone today. Somebody say everyone is covered. So don't exempt it. Don't look at face today and say, mm, I think this one will not accept. No, 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 no. Somebody say every creature. Go and preach the gospel to every creature. Then look at verse 16. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. After this preaching, we will, we will organize baptismal class. Amen. I say we shall organize baptismal class. Amen. He said, he that believed and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believed not shall be damned. Today is a very serious matter. We are not only going out to go and preach, we are also going to judge people. Because if they don't believe you, ah, no, 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 I don't need it. They already judged already. I pray that God will show mercy today. I say God will show mercy today. Look at verse 17. He's saying today is a day of signs and wonder. Somebody say, I'm a sign. Somebody say, I'm a wonder. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. Do you see any name there? Did they put any name there? Did they put the name of pastor there? He said, he shall follow them. Somebody say, anyone. Anyone that dare believe to go out, it will be a commander of signs. Somebody say, I'm a commander of signs. That's why Christ doesn't put any name there. He didn't say, this sign shall follow the pastors. No. If the pastor will not go out, no signs. Are you with me? If the pastor will say he wants to sit down, no sign. <laughs> Anyone that go out today, he will be performing wonders. Beginning from today, you will be a carrier of signs and wonders. He said, this sign will follow them. So as we go, signs will be following you. So, if I were you, I will be looking back often today because signs are going to be following me. Amen. In my name, they will cast out devils. So, if there is anyone that is having one challenge or the other, today, feel free to cast out the devils. In the name of Jesus, every demon, every disease will obey the sound of your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. He said today, they will cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Somebody will be baptized in the Holy Ghost today. Look at verse 8. He said, they will take up serpent in their hand. <laughs> it means that even Satan, you know, will be like a toy in your hand today. Amen. Whatever has been harassing people, whatever has been harassing them, today, there will be a mere toy in your hand. God will give you authority. God will give you dominion. God will give you power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Today, nothing will hurt you today. Whatever is hurting in any part of your body, I command healing and deliverance now in the name of Jesus Christ. If they touch any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. Whatever has been harming your destiny, harming your career, harming any part of your body, today, as you go out, they are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. What this means is this. Today, God is sending you out as a healer. So whatever is sick in your body, God will fix it now. 
I say, God will fix it now. There is a story that there is a pipe. You know pipe in our house? The pipe that carries water. Can you see this pipe complaining that it's thirsty? No. The pipe that is carrying water cannot complain of thirst. If you are the carrier of healing, you cannot complain that you lack it. Therefore, whatever is not right in any part of your body, because you are going to represent him today, and he cannot disgrace himself, I command, whatever is wrong in any part of your body, today, let there be order in your body, in your system, in the name of Jesus Christ. Evangelism is the quickest way to become healed. Somebody say evangelism. Because he's sending you as a healer. God cannot produce quack doctors. God understand. You know, I know some of us, you know, any medical, any, any medical personnel, even our nurses, they have number. You know why? They call it RN number. You know why? So that anyone that doesn't have the number, they can fish them out. Also, God cannot send you to go and heal the sick and send you there sick yourself. Have you been to a doctor that wants to heal you in the hospital and the doctor is shaking? And the doctor said, I'm having a headache. Will you go to that doctor? Will you answer me now? So, God himself cannot send you to go and heal the sick and not heal your body. Amen. I'm going to say, Father, whatever is wrong in my body now, I command instant healing because I'm going out. I'm going to represent you. And you don't produce quack doctors. Ah, Father, heal me now. Touch my body now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said they will lay hands on the sick. They will recover. Today, as you lay your hands on the sick, they shall recover. I said they shall recover. I'm going to put up here and I'm going to say, my hand is the extension of his hand. When I lay my hands on the sick, they recover. My hand is the hand of Jesus Christ. When I lay my hand on the afflicted, the evil spirit are casted out. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is the hand of wonder. This is the hand of sign. You are not saying it. I said, this is the hand of wonder. This is the hand of signs. This is the hand of the lost deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone that touches this hand today, receive instant miracle, instant signs and wonders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God is counting on us today. Amen. Somebody say, God is counting on me. Somebody say, God is counting on me. Is anybody ready? Is anybody ready? Is anybody ready? Is anybody ready? He told them what to say. Somebody say, he told them what to say. Luke chapter 10 verse 5. And this is what we are saying. And into whatsoever house or anyone you enter or you see, first say. Luke 10 verse 5. Is media there? Can we read it together? One, two, go. Peace be unto you. Amen. So, we're going to say peace be unto you. Shalom. Somebody say shalom. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Shalom. That's what we are doing today. We are saying shalom. Peace be unto you. And as many as are troubled, they will receive the peace of God today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are taking peace with us today. We are taking peace with us today. Somebody say we are saying peace be unto you. And he also told us to tell them the kingdom of God is at hand. Somebody said the kingdom of God is at hand. Somebody said the kingdom of God is at hand. Somebody said the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen. Don't worry. 
you may think that, ah, but we are, we are just young in the faith. Even Christ is rejoicing that God has given this power. Look at Luke 10 verse 21. <laughs> or oh, let's start from verse 20. When they came back with all these signs and wonders, they were telling Jesus, giving him testimony, that the devils are subject to them through his name because we are praying for our hand. He said, behold, no, let's start at 20. No, we're standing in this, rejoice not. It's media there. Luke 10, 20. No, we're standing in this, rejoice not. That the spirits are subject unto you. But that, that rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Somebody have his name written in heaven here? That means if you have not repented yourself, you will repent now. Amen. Because your own name must be there. So their own name also can be there. Amen. Amen. Now look at verse 21. To tell you that these people, they are new combats. Can we read it together? In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from who? From the wise and prudent. And hast revealed them unto who? Unto babes. We, may be, we look like babes. Somebody say we are babies. But Jesus is happy. Because the power of God will shine forth from your hand. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. God has not called professors of theology. He has called little babes. Amen. And God will perform signs and wonders even as we go out today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're going to be on our feet. We're going to begin to pray. I'm going to say, Father, give me boldness as I go out to declare your word. I will not be afraid. I will not be ashamed. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The Bible says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. If any preacher has power, there is power to preach. There is power to declare the word of God. We are about going out now that God will cover us with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself in the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he's sending us as sheep in the midst of wolves. No wolves of life, no lion of life will be able to bite any of you today. I cover every one of you by the precious blood of Jesus. No eye of evil will see you today. Yes, 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 cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. He said, I send you forth as lambs in the midst of wolves. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself. Let the blood of Jesus cover you today. No evil is permitted. The authority, the anointing, the power. You are going to come back with fruit, with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You know, Jesus said in that chapter, I'm not, I don't have no time to read it. He said, there will be reward as you go out. They will give you food. They will give you what you need. He said, you should eat it. Do you know people, while preaching, they have preached to their husband before. Pastor Kumuyi preached, met his wife. Pastor Biodo Kumuyi, on the evangelism, when he was preaching. There is reward. I'm going to say, Father, let me encounter my reward today. Some people preach to their employer. Father, today, I will not go empty-handed. Father, there will be reward today. Let me get my reward today. There is reward. He that repeat, receiveth wages. I will not miss my wages today. I will be sensitive. You will guide me. You will direct me to where my harvest is waiting. Look, this is not an empty exercise. God is here. The Holy Ghost is here. The power of heaven is backing us up today. The authority that creates the entire universe is behind us today. Christ is behind us. God the Father is behind us. The Holy Ghost is with us. We are going representing heaven. Father, I will not miss my reward. Is somebody praying? I will not miss my reward today. In the name of Jesus, lead me to ready souls. Give me the right word to say. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall be fruitful today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
going to come against every barrenness, every fruitlessness. Father, I will not come back empty-handed. Open your mouth and pray. Today, <laughs> uh, if you don't have, you, some of us will receive telephone numbers, some of us will receive contact, but today, we are not coming back empty-handed. I will not come back empty-handed. <laughs> I receive my miracle today, today. <laughs> I receive my miracle today, today. <laughs> I will never go away empty and dead. I receive my miracle today, today. Is somebody praying that prayer? I receive my miracles today. I will not come back empty handed. I will not be barren. I will not be fruitless. Today, 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 there will be evidence. I will produce proof today. The sick will be healed. Your prayers will be delivered. Yes, Lord. The power of Christ will come down mightily like never before. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally, before I step down from here, there is no soldier that goes to battle at his own expense. If you notice all the military in a the country, they will give them uniform. The country will give them gun. They will give them the vehicle, everything they use, they are giving. That means God is sending you as an army to go and preach. He will not send you empty handed. He will give you gone now. I say, God is giving you gone now. As you shoot that gun, it will answer. God will give you bulletproof jacket now. No arrow of life will touch you. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, I will not go into this world free at my own expense. Your power will be made available. Your glory will be made available. Everything I need to be successful in this endeavor, you will grant unto me. Thank you because you have answered. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's have a seat. Hallelujah. I'm done. Make sure you take it serious. Somebody say, take it serious.